Hey Max, I read some of your tweets and I share your pain. YouTube has been so stupid this year. They have been removing my videos too far. BS reasons, it's so frustrating. It's led me to not want to upload anything as my channel could get banned as I already have strikes. And I've been banned before 2016 for cyberbullying and harassment. This feels like the same thing all over again. I wish we had freedom. Sometimes YouTube feels like a prison, censoring our content with no rhyme or reason. So yesterday made this video, a lot of things happened yesterday, including not as stupid got hacked, Coffee Toffee made a video addressing the situation, and also II Pan Panda. But in this video, I do have some updates on II Pan Panda, and also not as stupid. That's not the main topic of this video. In this video, I'm not going to put any ads. I know for a fact YouTube is definitely going to demonetize this video. But this video is going to be very serious because a video was uploaded today. So a video was uploaded today come from Mama Max. And the title of this video is called, I found a website that protects predators. And this is like a serious issue. That's why I'm not going to put any ads. Plus, I can mention about this TikTok challenge that's been going on for the past month. For some reason, it's resurfacing now called the Benadryl challenge. Like, come on. What? So this video is going to be very sensitive, it's going to be a dark subject. So if you don't want to watch this video, you don't have to, that's why I'm not going to put any ads. Please down in the comment section below, don't put anything stupid because if I say anything stupid that addresses this subject or the banjo subject in the wrong way, I'm definitely going to remove it and I'm just going to plan on ban you because this is definitely a serious topic. So before we continue with this video, if you're new around here, subscribe, hit that notification bell. This way you can receive my videos once uploaded. So notification squad day is going towards Waste of Gotcha, the Obsidian Master piece and also christian which i don't know how to say your youtube name you did put christian as your name so i'm going to call you that so if you don't know if you're the very first three people who comment down below you get that instant shout out in my upcoming video so if i was you i'll hit that notification bell get that easy shout out in my channel so briefly real quick what's much about the gotcha hackers so if you don't know i have pan panda she was featured in my latest video and she did put my video in her committee post right now 93 likes i do appreciate the support Hopefully she can stay strong in this situation. I do appreciate the support and also if you don't know also not as stupid as back I don't know how to say the actual name So I just call it not but apparently sure base did delete all the videos Apparently the channel had over 7 million views They put it as the pin tweet saying haha video is gone 7 million views go smashing keyboard noises Like I said, this is not the main topic of this video in this video We're gonna mention but I found a website that protects predators come from mama Mac this this channel has 524,000 subscribers. It is a huge channel. It is a sensitive subject. When you go to a minute 48, he's talking about YouTube. Just to give you a heads up, his video is very strange. Strange is definitely a word about his videos. It's like a horror movie vibe to it. It does show a thumbnail coming from YouTube that shows that YouTube protects predators, has over a hundred million dislikes. Whoa, and I tried to find this video, apparently this video is gone. I search up on YouTube, I search on the actual YouTube channel, I can't find that video. I wonder why 100 million dislike, damn. And then he talks about his community copyright strike at 3 minutes and 23 seconds. And he just shows a bunch of videos, talked about YouTube protects other people. Mentioned about this app that was on Google. He mentioned that Google removed the app that these predators were using, but they also removed his video. Like, what? Because it sounds like the only reason Google was aware about the situation was based upon his video. But Google removed his video and also removed the app. Oh my god. So now I'm going to talk about Anxiety War. Anxiety War has almost a million subscribers. It looks like there's a call at 3 minutes and 29 seconds saying, Hey Max, I read some of your tweets and I share your pain. YouTube has been so stupid this year. They have been removing my videos too far. BS reasons. It's so frustrating. It's led me to not want to upload anything as my channel could get banned as I already have strikes. And I've been banned before 2016 for cyberbullying and harassment. This feels like the same thing all over again. I wish we had freedom. Sometimes YouTube feels like a prison. Censoring our content with no rhyme or reason it's wrong. That's coming from Anxiety War. And this is like a big thing on Twitter. This blew 
up on Twitter. So it was a hashtag called Answerize Blank Tube. I'm talking to you, YouTube, Team YouTube, Susan, then, and also they tag H3H3, Philly D, John Scares, Keemstar, Markiplier, all the big people. So this comes from Noodles, Sears, YouTuber Mama Max, Answerize Blank Tube after YouTuber moved his video exposing blank apps in Google Play Store. YouTube took the video down for harassment and says he didn't break guidelines. Team YouTube didn't initially respond only after tag trend Oh, oh my god the only answer if the tweets it has like over 17,000 tweets based upon the situation based upon this video I mean honestly I never really talk about the situation I, it is a very sensitive topic there has been people that came to me based upon the situation based upon past experiences I didn't want to show the case on my video because it is a sensitive topic but it looks like people are speaking about this topic, so I want to bring it out. So let's move on to another sensitive topic called the Benadryl Challenge. And this is on TikTok. So let's move on to another serious topic. So if you don't know, the Benadryl Challenge from TikTok has been around for the past month or so. But for some reason, it's resurfacing now. And all of a sudden, all these news outlets are talking about this. So I found this CNN article called FDA Issues. Benadryl warning as it investigates reports of teen injuries and blank link to TikTok challenge. What? A TikTok challenge involving Benadryl? If you don't know what Benadryl is, Benadryl is an over-the-counter product. It's also known as it's also known as diphenhydramine. It's mainly used for a couple things. One, it's allergy medication. If you have an allergic reaction to something, you could take that. If you get some bee stings, you could take that as well. Benadryl makes you very sleepy, very drowsy. But only problem about Benadryl, if you abuse it, it does cause harm to your body. Benadryl is only supposed to be used maybe once or twice a day, but only for a temporary use. It's not supposed to be used for 20, 30 pills that these supposedly people are trying to use for a TikTok challenge. So Benadryl, like I stated, it also stimulates your anti-chlorogenic reaction, also known as your sympathetic nervous system, which is your fight or flight response. So pretty much if you don't know about fight or flight, pretty much what your sympathetic response does, either you run or you fight somebody. That's when your heart starts racing. That's why you get that dry mouth. That's why your pupils start dilating. That's why your bronchi is relaxed is this way you can actually think what you're doing your heart accelerates you have dry mouth you have dry eyes you have dry skin your gi shuts down because you have constipation because you're nervous so this is what benadryl does this the whole point of taking benadryl is only taking like one or two pills a day and that 20 to 30 like the supposed tiktok challenge and that's why the fda is getting involved with this so people don't abuse this so there's a quote saying we're investigating these reports and conducting a review to determine if additional cases have been reported the agency said in news release healthcare professionals should be aware that the benadryl challenge is occurring among teens and alert their caregivers about it the agency said so like i said before only take benadryl if you're actually allergic to something if a bead stings you if you have trouble sleeping that shouldn't be the very first thing to do if you have trouble sleep a lot of those times it's probably because you have too much caffeine you have too much stress or you have too much stuff going on in your head right now do not use benadryl because you can't sleep at night that shouldn't be the first thing you do that should be the last resort medication should be the last resort they should do in order to help your life i know this is not my typical videos but i didn't want to address these two situations based upon that video before and based upon this challenge that's been going on like i said i took off the ads i know for a fact youtube is definitely going to demonetize this video my last video did get demonetized for the first like six hours i don't know why like when i upload the video i checked like two hours afterwards it was fine and when i woke up the next morning the video was demonetized. I was like, are you kidding me? It's not the whole point if my video gets demonetized. The point is because the videos decrease when it gets to views. It doesn't sell my subscribers as much if the video was monetized because YouTube wants to make money. But let's do something positive. I know this is probably the only positive thing about this YouTube channel. We do have a new winner. And the question is, who is a YouTuber that copper strike Keemstar over a thumbnail? And if you watched the video come from Mama Mac, Keemstar did comment down below. And the answer is looking for coming from ReaperGuy67. He is a moderator, but this is the first time he's winning it and the answer I'm looking for is called JT. So if you don't know, if you're the very first person who answered the question right, you get that instant shout out in my upcoming video, plus you get that Discord shout out winner roll, which gives you 10% XP bonus in my server. If I was you, I'll hit the link down below. Come join my server. You have to be at least 13 years old though. So if you find any more information about YouTube hackers, YouTube cheaters, or YouTube scams, let me know down in the comment section below. I'll give you credit about that. If you're new around here, subscribe, hit that notification bell. This way you can receive my videos once uploaded 
Twitter, you can always follow me on Twitter, that Brett Burns, and also Instagram, Brett that Burns. And if you want to purchase a t-shirt, that link will be down below as well. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace, guys. Thank you. Bye. I can never ever find the right words And there's no way this is real life There's no telling you're the right girl So I can only say that it feels right It feels right, it feels right Yeah, I can only say that it feels right It feels right, it feels right Yeah, I can only say that it feels right